So today we're looking at even more innovation kind of in the Bitaxe community. So a couple of days ago I showed you a video of this Bitaxe, which was a smaller Bitaxe version. And this is from a user called Be Involved on X. And it was kind of just a smaller version of the Bitaxe that's kind of that's hopefully going into production very, very soon and we can get our hands on one. But this is also coming again from them and this is more of a hash circular board. So a circular revolution evolving Bitcoin mining with the hash disk. I believe it's based on the same kind of concept as a Bitax. And I've just moved a couple of things around so that will fit in this kind of tube. And as it says there, five volts, 1.2 tera hash at 15 efficiency from a single hash disk. So we're looking at, again, a gamma which is 3x stacked at 3.6 terahash. So you can see here, this is an article. In engineering, shapes matter, consider why water and air are typically transported in pipes and tubes. Rounded forms optimize flow dynamics, reduce friction, and provide structural integrity. The hash disk embraces these principles by incorporating a circular design that naturally complements modern infrastructure. Kind of unlike traditional Bitcoin mining, which are often bulky and square, the disk rounded form not only enhances visual appearance, but also improves functionality. So you can see a video of it here. You can see the chip below if we just pause this here and zoom in. Here is the S21 XP or S21 Pro chip. And kind of the same, if you just drew like a line out, you could kind of see the bit axe in here. For example, you have the fan control there, you have the ESP there the USB there, the power supply, the reset and boot buttons, and the chip there. You also have mounting solutions for fans as well. It does have a bunch of holes in it, which is explained kind of later on, but you can see that you have a mounting solution for fans and the heat sinks. So you can have it for either a bigger heat sink if you wanted it, these outer ones, or a smaller heat sink and fan if you wanted it as well. My best guess is that these are 40 millimeters and then these are 60 millimeters, just because that's the standard sizes for heat sinks and fans. And that's kind of what everyone would try and upgrade or try and overclock with. It does say hash disk BM1370. So that is the same architecture as the Bitax Gamma as well. If we escape from here, the inline design was engineered for seamless installation with existing piped or tubed infrastructure. So kind of trying to look at real world uses to, I don't know, flow heat through things. Because normally with an ASIC miner, it's very hard with a square hash board to flow heat through things in terms of air cooling. I believe in regards to this, I think they're actually involved in bees, so beekeeping. And this is kind of an easier way to warm up the hive or something like that. That's what I've read in previous posts, that this is kind of like a merge of both of these things. It says disk integration enables mining heat to be efficiently redirected to support central heating systems. So an easier way to kind of extract heat from these chips that are also mining Bitcoin at the same time. And by maximizing the surface area, the circular design promotes even heat distribution leading to more consistent and effective thermal exchange. But you can see here how it started, which is this hash disk 0.01 next to the hash disk that they have here with a bunch of holes in it. So that's going to help air flow through all of the holes right there. And that basically makes it easier to cool it down because there's less surface area. Another advantage of the disk is advanced thermal management engineered with vent ports, as we just talked about, integrated directly into the PCB, allowing air or liquid to flow. So this could be done with liquid cooling as well, or immersion cooling, where you'd flow kind of any immersion cooling oil passed or through these holes to cool down kind of the whole board at the same time. And then they have a video right here, which is like a concept where they stacked the hash boards within there. And then you have an open top here. I believe kind of the fan or a big fan would be at the bottom blowing air outwards. And then you'd have smaller fans actually attached in there. So you can see just heat sink in there and you can go down, there's a fan at the bottom as well. So kind of what we guessed through that. And then it's stacked on top of each other. So the air flows through, the fan at the bottom flows the air through. Obviously the top one is gonna be more warm than the bottom one. 
that's always going to happen. But this is probably better for heat dissipation to have the holes in it as well. So you don't actually need a fan plugged in, but they do have fan control there if you wanted to plug one in as well. As I said, standard kind of heat sinks that you're looking at and standard heat sink placement. Traditional mining systems typically discard valuable thermal. The hash disk is engineered to reclaim and repurpose the heat. Its inline installation allows for dynamic energy management, capturing the heat in real time. So you kind of have these with saunas. I believe that there's a couple of companies out there that are doing it for saunas and doing it for agriculture, uh, just with regular ASICs, but this might be kind of the upgrade. As you can see here, what's on the horizon, you have kind of a bunch of chips here and disks and they all fit in there. So they do envision a future where a massive hash disk is implemented in a city-wide system to provide entire communities with fresh hot water through the capture of the mining heat. So actually utilizing the heat that comes off it. A lot of people do say that it's kind of adding to climate change, the whole Bitcoin mining thing, but these kind of solutions are put in place to negate some of that. And a lot of Bitcoin mining actually is using renewable energy currently. So I think that this is a massive jump in terms of the kind of innovation from just the Bitax. I know that there's been smaller miners before, but open sourcing it makes it a lot easier for people to kind of get into it. And I haven't really seen if they have open sourced it necessarily because on the GitHub, they do show a hash disk, but it's not the same one. But even open sourcing this and allowing people to create their own or make their own temperature solutions in terms of Bitcoin mining, because otherwise they would just be using the heat regardless. For example, in agriculture or in greenhouses, you would have to heat that greenhouse. But if you can mine Bitcoin whilst also doing that, you can recoup some of the profits. So it makes it more economically viable to just mine Bitcoin alongside heating something that you were gonna heat anyway. Otherwise it's just cash that you're flushing down the drain. On the GitHub, this was 10 months ago, so I don't think that they're kind of going with this idea, but this might have been the original idea that they thought of. You can see here a massive disk and all of these white dots are ASIC chips. So it says here, the hash disk with 624 ASIC chips, and I believe that that's the S19 chips. Approximately, approximately one foot and three inches, each chip 500 giga hash, total hash rate would be 312 terahash. So you kind of have a disk instead of a three hash boards, which bit, which Bitmain use. And as they said at the start of the article, it's kind of for future use where you have cities that would run this maybe for an apartment building or just a block of flats that would get their kind of heating source at least from mining Bitcoin. And it is one of the best ways for companies to actually get in this because it's incentivized by recouping some of the losses. For example, if you mine, let's just say $10 a day in profits from here, you could actually offset the power cost as well as also providing the service of heating flats. So a lot of companies, I think over time are gonna go for this because they can also recoup some of the costs and that's gonna improve their bottom line as well. But this kind of design that you have seen here with the plus and the minus there, you can kind of see this if we go back to the article, if we scroll down here, it's kind of the same as what we're seeing here. So positive and negative, but this is just imagine this is a way bigger scale than what we're seeing right here. But this is one chip. So just imagine one of those sized onto there. Obviously they haven't really made any improvements or kind of gone for this one. They're more focused on this one, which is a better idea because then they can scale it up as time goes on. Maybe even with the Ember one coming along, they can do some collaborations where they build out a hash disk. There's maybe 10 to 12 chips as well, and kind of put this into a proof of concept to work later down the line. So as I said, there's major things coming out and the same with the Bitax or the Bityax, sorry. I think that we're definitely gonna wanna get one of them for the channel. I don't know how long the production and manufacturing is gonna be for first the Bityax and then the circular hash disk. So there might be quite a long lead time. So you might even see it, I don't know, even a year down the line on the channel if it does release at that point. So again, let me know what you think about these kind of innovations that are going on in terms of the Bitax community, taking that and kind of running with it to produce different weird iterations of the Bitax that can be used however people want them to be. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.